Hi friends, my name is Sharif and this is the complete timeline of undergraduate application to UK universities, sort of. Alright, anyway, this is a laptop here to make sure that I keep track of what I'm saying to make sure I'm not missing anything. A bit of a disclaimer, I try to be as detailed as possible but there might be some detail left out here and there so you can ask your questions in the comment down below. But of course, I may or may not be able to answer all your questions so I suggest you to seek for a professional help. Now, if you're interested to get a professional help, there will be a link in the description below which will book you with an appointment with UKC representative, which is United Kingdom Education Center, which offers various services, for example, like consultation on uni applications, visa application, and also commercial support or career advice, or many more. Or if you want to have a chat with them, basically trying to understand how to apply to UK universities, they are very welcome. All of their services are free because they are working directly with UK universities. So if you're interested, check it out below. Link will be in the description. Okay, anyway, let's start with the timeline. First thing first, we need to know when are we going to UK University. So let's say I'm going to the UK University around 2021, meaning that I need to start as early as January. Now you can start earlier than that, which means around November or December the previous year or February, but the deadline will be around June. So generally is your best time yet. Well, apparently, I miss a lot of details why January is your best time to start doing your application. Although I did say I'm going to use a laptop to keep track of what I'm saying. But, well, alas, the irony is there. Okay, so the reason why January is, let's see. So since I'm going to use the example of 2021, because every year there might be a little bit of a difference, but usually the, the time and date will be almost the same as each year. Only it will be different by one or two days. So... If you're applying for 2021 year, which means that the application will start previous year around 20, uh, around mid of May. For in this case, for 2021, it will start application opens for undergraduate studies around 19th of May 2020. Okay, but here's the thing: although the application start open on the, around that time, which is mid of May previous year, not all application is still open. It means some courses are still closed because maybe university are trying to reschedule their structure or their courses a bit. Maybe you want to create a new type of course, you never know. So around that time, it's not everything, it's not open yet, okay? But during that time, you can start register for UCAS application, or make your UCAS account, or maybe you can fill in the details, or you can start doing your personal statement. There are certain key deadlines is going to start open for you. So for example, for 15th of October 2020, that's start for application for Oxford, Cambridge, and more courses in medicine, dentistry, and veterinary medicine or science should arrive at UCAS, meaning that by that time, these listed courses are starting to become more available on that time, which is 15 October, but not all of them yet. But by 29th of January 2021, applications for the majority of undergraduate courses should arrive at UCAS by 18 UK time, okay? So it's around end of January. And that's why I'm saying you could, should start around early of January because at that time, usually at the end of January, in this case for 2021 applicants, which is 20th in January, where all our courses and applications are open, right? But in the end of the day, the deadline for all of the applications will be around 30th of June 2021, which is the same year as uh, the year that you're going to go to the university, okay? Okay, anyway, so back to the video. For the whole month after January, you're going to start doing your application for UCAS, and then your deadline for your UCAS applications is around the end of June. So in this case, for this year, 2021, it will be around 30th of June. So next, once you have done submitting your UCAS application, which is before 30th of June, you're going to start waiting for the offers given by UK universities, right? They usually have like three parts of time when they're going to send the offers. If you submit your uni application, your UCAS application, before 29th of January, in this case for 2021, you're going to get your offers around 20th of May. But if you submit it before 30th of June, you're going to get as early as 6th of July. But after that, the latest will be 20th of October. And if you didn't get anything after that, which means that basically you didn't get any offer, okay? Now, there are three types of decision that will be made by uni or college, right? The first one is called conditional, unconditional, and the third one is unsuccessful, which means that the third one is basically you didn't get the offer, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, now let's go to conditional. Conditional offers usually are for people who still undergoing his or her pre-degree, which means they are still taking their A-levels or IB or any pre-degree on their college. So basically, you say, hey, I like you, but for your pre-degree, I want you to get this kind of results. Some of the examples, let's say A-levels, 
with grade A and B, with A in chemistry and at least two other sciences or mathematics. Let's say for IB, 36 points from your international baccalaureate diploma to include six in high level English. So they can get a very, very detailed to a certain offer. And each courses have their different offers, so you really want to check it out once you get the conditional offers. Next, for unconditional offers, meaning you basically got the offer. All you need to do is just submit documents. All right, so that's kind of the offers that you're going to get. Okay, now let's imagine that you already got all your offers to all the universities that you apply for, which is five of them, which is going to be somewhere around after July or May, around that time. And now you're going to start to make your own choices before starting your pre-degree exams, okay? So this is before your final exam of your pre-degree, okay? So let's say from the five of them, you need to pick only two of them, which is the first one you call as the firm choice, the second one you call as insurance. So out of the five, you need to choose only two. So what is firm, what is insurance choice? So firm is basically the choice that you really, really want to go. And insurance is basically if, if your results of your final exam, your pre-degree, weren't able to satisfy your first choice, meaning you're going to go for insurance. So let's say I wanted to go to UCL, I need to get for three SRs, but I failed to do so, then you're going to go to your insurance, which means that your result that you got didn't satisfy your first choice, but it satisfied your second choice, which is your insurance, which is going to University of Edinburgh, for example. So you're going to make your decision around after you get all your offers or before the end of the deadline of getting the offers. All right, after you have made your choices, now you are going to go to your final year uh, pre-degree, uh, whether it's an A-level exams, IB exams, or STPM, or any kind of exams, uh, you're going to go for it. And then after you get your result, then you need to see whether your result be able to satisfy those two choices that you have made. If you got your firm insurance fulfilled, then congratulations. If you didn't get your firm fulfilled, but you got your second choice, which is insurance, then congratulations also because you are going to UK university. But there's a case where you didn't able to fulfill either of those two. Now, it's still not the end of the world. There's is still an option called the UCAS clearance. It's basically application open again. The only difference is it doesn't have an option as much as the previous ones, which is before you get the results. Meaning certain UK university doesn't allow for people to apply through UCAS clearance. Some might, some not. So you want to check it out. I can't really say much about UCAS clearance because I never experienced it. So you might want to ask someone professional such as UKC uh, to ask for this kind of you know situation. All right, so now, you have got your choice, let's like say you decided to go to UCL, like I want to go UCL or Edinburgh or any other places you want to go. Now, you're going to start a bit, a, bit, a bit hectic because this is a pretty short duration for you to start doing for a visa application because you wanted to apply for visa to study in the UK, especially if you're international students. Uh, you're going to apply for a tier 4 general student visa. And then you're going to search for accommodation to study in somewhere in the UK because you don't want to be homeless, right? So you want to have a place to stay. Uh, somewhere around uni and then of course you are going to start um, buying for flight tickets right if you are somewhere in out of UK so this thing is going to be a very very hectic duration um, visa is annoying um, searching for a commission is one <laughs> is also annoying of course uh, UKC provide all the services to help you with visa accommodation also flight ticket support so don't be scared to contact them link will be in the description and after you have done all of this um, finally uh, you are going to go to uni, right? So around mid of September or early of September, you're going to start to go to uni and to going to start your undergraduate studies. It's pretty cool. So right, so that's basically, that's the, I would say, a complete timeline of uni application for undergraduate studies. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll try my best to answer it. But of course, I really, really suggest for you to seek a professional help such as UKC, Maybex, or any other uh, education centers all around the world. Um, link will be in the description below if you're interested to check out with UKC. And that's all for me. Assalamualaikum and see you guys in the next one. Bye.